Hello and welcome, by Hugo Hello and welcome to Hygromatic. My name is Gebhard Markgraf and we are in the presentation room here at Hygromatic. I would like to explain the function of two optional extras for the electrode steam humidifiers, which can be installed later if certain problems arise due to the water quality. For one thing, we would have our cylinder star, which is used when electrode wear is very high due to water conductivity. I'll get back to that a little later. And then we have our so-called super flush system. This super flush system works, put in simple terms, by way of a nozzle installed at the bottom of the cylinder. This nozzle creates a jet of water and as a result scale is lifted up off the base to a greater extent so in the moment of drainage the amount of lime scale being discharged is even higher all the accessories for such a super flush retrofit kit are provided in a bag enclosed you will find very detailed assembly instructions which simply describe what the specific assembly steps are and what should be done first I have started this a bit. I have talked about this small nozzle, which is inserted here. To this nozzle leads a hose, which is clamped here. And this hose ends at a double solenoid valve. Normally we have single solenoid valves installed in the electrode steam humidifiers. That means the single solenoid valve needs to be removed and replaced with this double solenoid valve. So we have a solenoid valve for the regular filling of the unit and next the new utility of the super flush where we then lead the water through this hose to the rinse nozzle which then creates this whirlpool effect. Yes, so this double solenoid valve replaces the single solenoid valve. And then all that remains is to connect everything electrically. And that can be carried out by simply hooking it up to the controls of the blowdown pump. It is a very small cable harness. We will use the pump's power supply for the solenoid valve. And in doing so, we will achieve the following. The solenoid valve for super flush will always run parallel to, that is to say, at the same time as the blowdown pump. Yes, and that was, in brief, the assembly and function of the super flush cylinder rinsing system. When using steam humidifiers, it might sometimes occur that the standing time of the electrodes is quite short because you have highly conductive water. Something like that can be observed oftentimes when using softened water and would be the right time to retrofit our cylinder star. The effect of the cylinder star is the following. Without the cylinder star, the system works at a certain water level. With highly conductive water, this water level is usually very low, resulting in a very high surface charge on the electrode. That is what produces the high rate of electrode wear. Once we insert the star, there is a higher amount of electrical resistance between the electrodes. Our unit picks up on this because the flow of electricity becomes less and consequently the water level is made to rise. We are again generating as much electricity as we were prior, but what happens, the electrodes are more submerged in the water and thus the surface charge on the electrodes has decreased. The cylinder star comes in a small assembly kit consisting of three synthetic blades and two stars. These stars are simply present so I can stick these three blades together. I will show you briefly. Resulting in this typical star shape. This is the exact same star that is in there. To install the star, you will proceed as follows. You open the cylinder, separate the two halves from each other. The cylinder star is then inserted into the top part in such a way that the blades are arranged right between the electrodes. And then the whole thing is reassembled later and the clamps are placed back on. That's how simple it is.